All right, so we're just gonna go over how to record our PowerPoint using Screencastify and then add it up to our YouTube channel. So as you can see right here, I have my PowerPoint that's open. I also have Chrome that's open and I kind of stack them on top of each other so I can kind of go back and forth between the two pretty easily. So first of all, I'm gonna to go to my Chrome and I'm gonna click on Screencastify. And again, my microphone's working, I can see it right here and then simply I'm gonna hit record desktop and I wanna record my entire screen. So once I see this, I'm gonna go ahead and hit share, and then once I hit share, I'm gonna get quickly as I can go over to my PowerPoint. So then there's as little lag time as I can, I'm gonna hit play. So share, three, three two, two, one. one. All right, students, this is our ordinal numbers uh, PowerPoint, and I want you to say the ordinal numbers with me and after me. So I give my instructions, I hit the next arrow, and then every, everybody say order. And repeat after me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I just kind of, I'm going through my slides the way that I want to. I'm recording. Okay, so now what I can do down here at the bottom, I, I have stop sharing. Okay, and for some reason my mouse is not coming up, but I'm going to just exit and hit stop sharing. Now what it's going to do is it's going to open my video right, so that I just this did. Is ordinal numbers right here. Uh, PowerPoint and I want you to say the ordinal numbers with so I can me see my video. I'm so going to maybe watch the whole thing to see if I arrow. like it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upload it to YouTube, but I'm going to rename it first. So I'm going to go ahead and click here on the name and let's call this ordinal numbers practice. So I go ahead and I rename it. So now I've renamed it and now I want to upload it to YouTube. So I have my share button up here, right? I click on my share button. Here's my choices. I want to do YouTube. I need to select my channel. If I haven't added my channel, I need to do that, but let's add it to here. I can choose my privacy right away if I want it unlisted or if I want a private, let's do it at unlisted. And then after that, I just simply put upload. And you can see down here in the bottom corner that it is uploading to YouTube. Let's go ahead and click on my YouTube channel and let's check it out right there. So you can see right here, it's still being processed, right? Video quality may improve. Here is my, it says my right here. I can also see that it's unlisted. If I want to get back to my YouTube channel, um, if I'm not sure how to get there, I can just simply go to youtube.com, right? Um, I can see my face up here. So I click on my face. Unless I have an older version of Chrome, then it's going to be over here in the left, and I see my channel. So once I go to my channel, I can see here, hopefully, my video, which I don't think is up here because it hasn't processed yet, so I may need to give it a second because I can see uploads right here. All right, I can also double check in this Creator Studio right here if it's there. So I can click on Creator Studio. Probably it's because it's unlisted. Oh, here it is right here, right? So I didn't find it on my channel, but when I clicked here, I, again, I went to Creator Studio. Now I can open this. I can edit it from here. I can see the live version as well. Okay, so that was the edit. If I click right on the thumbnail, it gives me the live version. So now if I want the link, I can All click right, students. This is our or to send to my parents. I can click share, and here's where the link would be. So either I can copy it and paste it to my message. I can send it out via email. So hopefully that helps you remember the process that you need to screencastify your PowerPoints and get them up in YouTube.